you asked for my gas mask collection, and, uh, you know, I guess I should go ahead and do that. So right here, this is our Richardson Floridian Cops, or RFK. I have yet to actually date it. I don't know if it's an older or newer version. It's got its, I believe that's the Type J filter canister. It's a bit smelly. It's in fairly good condition. I mean, the flutter valve is missing. The rubber is in there, and it's not completely dried out yet. The hose is completely supple. Sort of. I mean, <laughs> not as supple as, say, my MI2, but, you know, supple enough for a World War One mask. This is my MI2. It was sitting in an antique store, so it's a bit deformed, unfortunately. Or it's in very good shape, all things considered. No flutter valve. Hose is completely supple. And we've got the MIXA1 filter, meaning this mask is dated 1939. It could be 1940, however, I want to say 1939, because these filters were issued in 1939. No earlier. This is our later war production MIA2. Awesome thing is this still has the flutter valve dating it to 1941. This thing is in really piss poor shape. I mean, when I saw this, the hose had bugs in it. Dead bugs, but bugs. And lighter face. Lighter, or uh, I, I don't know if that's just sun damage or not, but I want to say the type of rubber they, or stock in it they used. Anyway, the main difference between the two is with these pre-war versions, you had the stock in it on the hose, which stock in it is essentially just canvas, compared to this one, which is just rubber. This is our US M2A2. It's dated 1942 by a rubber company I'm not sure on. For anti dimming cloth. And our M4A1 bag in Roman numerals. Same here, except we have awesome lock. US Army Service gas mask. There we go. It's got its M8 exhalation valve. It's in fairly good shape. There is some rubber parsing here. And it's got its MIXA1 filter in a gray finish. I have no idea why they switched from the brown to the gray. My guess is a uh, late war, maybe, uh, you know, post war, but the mask is dated 42. This is our finish M61, uh, Generation 3. So we have our 60mm filter, some cleaning powder, some wipes for set cleaning powder. Basically, if you get some kind of gas burn, most like the mustard, but any other irritant gas, you would put these, sprinkle some of that on there, and pat the infected part. It's a very large decontamination cloth, I believe, and the manual bag is pretty standard. Then, generally, the most obvious thing is the exhalation valve. And in generations two and three, they added this extra rubber slip right here. Generation one, they didn't have that. All right, so it GP4U. It's completely unoriginal. This is original. Everything else is for GP5. Or whatever they call them now. Anyway, so we got our GP5 filter. It, it's not in great shape. Did 1979, I believe. Who? However you pronounce that. Anti dimming. Or, or, uh, lenses. Anti dimming lenses. Standard GP4. Or, uh, GP5 carrying sack. Got our hose and our exhalation valve. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the first mask I had in my collection. It's got its crimped lenses, as most masks do nowadays. It's got a stock in it on the hose. Standard 40 millimeter. Difference between Warsaw and NATO 40 millimeters is ever so slightly different that you can still use the two. It won't make a difference as far as I'm aware. Uh, here's the M10, the OM10. These are Czechoslovakian masks. I don't know much about them. Essentially copies of the M17. Got our bag here. 
some pork chop filters. That's what these are called. Some reinforcing lenses. Some of the exterior filters. We have a sealed M10. We have what an M10 is completed with everything on it. Reinforcing lenses and all. That brings my running count to three M10s and no M10Ms. Sadly. Or M17A1, I believe it is. Our laser outsert lenses. Waterproofing. A uh, little waterproofing kit. Let's see some more anti dimming cloth. See this one right here. There's a slight difference in them. I'm getting a World War One correct English model as another one of these, except it's a uh, slightly longer, which makes me want to say it's an earlier version of the correct English model. Our hood, it's sealed, and I have yet to put it on. Exterior M13 A1 filters, I want to say. No interior ones. The M17, especially squishy, because it was sitting in a very hot flea market. It sadly does not have the harness. I want to say it's the M17A2, but I want to say it's the M17A1 at the same time. And the M17A1 bag. This is the M15A1 carrier. The only major difference I know of between the M15 and the M15A1 is M17A1. We have our PRVU or PRWU, whichever one you want to call it. It was issued to uh, missile troops, rocket troops, people dealing with hazardous, hazardous chemicals. As the hole, there are no holes in this. I believe that's the diaphragm. Yeah, and that's to pre pre prevent the toxic acids getting into the holes and ruining your day. Same with the hose with that little baggy thing. I got our uh, used German rubberized carrier. I don't think the Soviets ever used that. A few anti-dimming tins. East German. The whole thing is East German. This one blew up. It's not in great condition. My guess is water damage. Our East German EO16 filter. Sealed and quite heavy for a filter. There are some gloves. These are issued to the National Volks Army, which is the East German Army. Let's see. And right here you can see National Volks Army and VA. Uh, I know a little bit about East Germany, but not a lot. Here's our Canadian C3. It's probably my most incomplete mask besides the GP4U. This is just the mask and the filter. It's an interesting mask. It reminds me of the British Mark II's, as that's what it was made, uh, inspired by. It's got its little Made in Canada sticker and another 60 millimeter filter. The weird rubber plug that does nothing. I got a weird industrial mask. It may look like a GP5, but it's dated 1990. And GP5 production ended in 1989. That's odd. GP4 carrying satchel, I believe. Could be for the ML, but I'm not sure. The weird industrial filter, dated 1990. It's odd. Got it from the same guys who had the M17, by the way. Weird. It's got a standard Russian hose. Exhale valve is uh, broken. But it is an industrial mask, and... Uh, they don't survive as well as military mass on average. So, that's the uh, just the gas mass collection. I will be getting a corrected English model with the bag, the anti-dimming sticks, stuff like that. Uh, some sort of Daxus Spanish Civil War mask, I'm not sure yet. It's got its canister, the mask, and the filter. And I may or may not be getting a British small box respirator. I have no idea what I'm getting. 
well, if I'm getting it or not, it depends. We got a flashlight to get a bit more detail on the mask. So, uh, anyway, yeah, that was that. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll probably be putting an unturned video up today. Hooray! Mm, goodbye.